absolute pandemonium inside Neyland tonight. A text from a buddy of mine said this, storm the field, hug the players, snag some turf, and got mowed down by a goal post. That's what it was like inside Neyland after the game. We take you back out live outside Neyland. Katie, you have been there throughout the day and quite a scene there as well. Yeah, at Ball Village, we were there all day. The tensions were pretty nervous as the game was going on, but as those two seconds popped up on the clock and then the Tennessee Vols ended up winning, everyone made a beeline from Ball Village down to Neyland Stadium so they could be a part of the action and the electric electricity here on campus. They lit up those celebratory cigars and they were super excited that the streak was broken. I caught up with some of them. Take a look. Tennessee beat Alabama. I wasn't even one year old. I turned 17 at the end of this month. That's how long it's been. Oh, I said it's great to be a Tennessee ball. I said it's great to be a Tennessee ball. That is the ball. That's what I'm talking about. But we'll take balls by three any day. Any day, baby. them down baby listen we're back Tennessee's back and we're ready for Georgia let's go I'm 59 years old I've never seen anything like it awesome, really awesome. 15 years we waited for this So many Vol fans were saying this is the best game they have seen in a really long time. You heard a few of them say the Vols are back. Now, John, I think that if you ever want to feel hyped up, just go back and watch that video. That's all you got to do, Katie, without a doubt. Thanks so much for that coverage live from campus tonight.